What is the major conclusion about faith and truth? Most of the faith are unlikely. So if you open up for the single market, you need it. Right? Nice and something firm. But the most of the firm, it didn't change anything because it's Still is dramatically on the okay. But to some big firm, not a and since zero and has left us, the stuff firm could have survived in this figure. Okay? One thing is, intra industry firm, between similar industries across borders, since maybe more than 60% of the world takes. So when we say, I'm afraid of it, it's not coffee, or wine, or tea. The things that we can use for the same type of production. So the striking topic of taste is simply similar countries buy a kind of similar countries. So France trade with the Netherlands. And Germany. Germany is not trading with Brazil or China or Vietnam. Not even France is by uh, trading with Vietnam. They're too far away. They have a different production system. They cannot use what they produce. And most of what we say is used by the community to use in a different country. Okay? And that's the reason why we are doing it. Because it's about logistics. Transport, uh, production, and in and out of production. So things are moving from one country to another by different sorts of transport. And have you seen those time maps? Sailing across from Asia. You <laughs> do to do that. So the come up. It's because that place is just big enough to cut through. And what's on board is contained. So it's high school, fast school, it's smaller than you, in contained, where you can shoot from one place to the other. So what it plays, the plays is simply more effective logistics between similar countries from similar countries. So when you come back to Brazil, you will know that your nearest neighbor is not very clear like Argentina is one of your biggest trading partners. And the game from the world putting the food on Okay. We can call it outsourcing and offshoring. Simply means that we produce it in one country and put it together to one product in another country. So we, let's say, import it from Poland into German cars or from Czechia into German cars because the border which in my eyes is a quite problem, a bit of different thing. But for a day to buy it, it's a different country. I know it because I have a daughter that has been born. And they were also thinking of buying a quite problem. Cheaper, I think. Do you see this? Okay. It's a different brand. So it's a uh, bunch of good for those who want the sport because they cannot spend the German cup. Or for those who want the sport driving because they cannot spend anything with a human cup. Just a game for Don't ask me 
flee by the way. Because I don't buy your man car. So that's the thing. Okay? Turn out for it. But maybe it might lose from it because somebody has your own car. Can you say yes? It's fun. It's a really good solution. And the domestic instrument, policy instrument, can solve this problem. Okay, then we're into a world of religion. It looks like this. But since there is nothing to take in, we are not a plastic version too. If I would tell you, so now we get the plastic version first. It looks like this. If you see a lot of stuff here, it's not on the plastic. But it is uh, probably the last three weeks probably that ended up here. So this was the ones of French wine or the wheat and lemonade or something else. So it's not uh, time to eat and take, make a coffin or plate. Okay, God's equilibrium is containing of a demand curve and a supply curve. The demand curve is form input. It begins where there is no input at home, where there is a balance at home. Okay? So that is when there is no height, quantity K, etc. That will be explained by Roman and Nova if you still want. But as you see, quantity is not there when there is no input from home. Then, surprisingly enough, there is an expert component. Why is there an expert component? But, so they cannot think for, they have nothing to... So that's why it begins where there are no things. And then, hold increases. The one increases the priority, the foreign produce more and export more production. And two, home that now can pay for import, because they are export, pay the import. So it reaches an equilibrium. It is the price at the world market where import equals export effectively. And what we import is QD, and what we export is type. Okay? Time and time. And that is the monster if this is an American movie. Okay? So in comes the monster, the type. As we said, Laura, it is the first in existing production process. It is the most efficient. So we, we open eyes to the fact that this is a worse solution compared to uh, the outcome from the research. And some of these resources are destroyed. What happens is simply that some terms of hate is improved in the past. So it changes the terms of hate in China and this. The effect term on a trip depends on the size of the economy. If it's the small economy, we have already concluded, and Colin has forgotten. But if the country is small, it cannot influence world price when it is all alive. But if it's going for the whole country first, so you can bring it through. Pay or more money. But the rest of it has to pay both for the extra profit and the We come back to the end. Very soon. Subsidies pay the cost. They don't do it. It never makes sense. If you talk normally, you never gain from the cost. Not even for oil and gas exploration. Although we are big uh, in production, we are not 
there are the mighty that have benefited of the country that introduced the country. What is the aim of that? It is increasing the purpose of the police. And it will be called health for religious police. Health would help gain this if it hadn't been for the health care to continue. Who pays this extra cost is the police. Who gets it? The police. So it's a domestic transfer from the consumer to the police. So there is a redistribution of revenue to the tax from the consumer to the police. Okay? As well as that, it might save the company. But the consumer gets the money for it. If I were the consumer, I would dream for a demonstration that the country of fear and then barricade and say, no, I won't accept this credit by telling you again. Is this 
to be toward these things. That's what you you can study yourself, but the conclusion is very simple. It's a gain for the producer, it's a loss for the consumer, and this is also a big loss for the government. So export subsidy is hurting everybody to the top. So, export subsidy is even better. So, is that a conflict? So, it could be. It could be a major problem in the world of the country, in the developing country. Very good subsidy. I think you can define the, the common agricultural policy of EU as export subsidy because it's subsidy, uh, the subsidy to local production of agricultural products, which we export because we cannot consume that. As we said, the bird of battle, the mountain of tomato, cannot be consumed by even some uh, loving very much. Promoted to be their people. Or Portuguese, loving bacalao, the new tomato. We cannot consume egg. So that one has to be exported. So that is probably, for Egypt, one of the most well known factors. The common agriculture community is the kind of export subsidy that has to be sold to somebody, and therefore, that is the extent of government and But if there are a lot of local Germans who love you better, they could of course try to eat the olive. But that would be very hard work. Even tougher than winning the diaphragm competition. Because I think Germany can win. So it's easier to win the diaphragm than to eat all these stuff. But it is export subsidy, and it's not beneficial to Germany, EU, or consumers within the country. Uh, I think it was here to mention Frankfurt. Frankfurt generates a total of one. So it's the income for the second organization that introduced the total probably. But there are several instruments that could have been used. Uh, export credit subsidy simply means that you pay for the export with offering special credit. Public ownership. And in France, it would have been a crop. I don't know if they still are public. Yes, France. So now it's private. Thank you. But the, uh, the SNFC, uh, the SNC of the, the railway company, that is public. So that is one way to do it. You have a public owned company producing this. And then what uh, is it export? Yes, because the trains are crossing the border. They go by high speed train to Brussels, Amsterdam, London, and Germany. Is that correct? Yes, it is high speed train. It's not as high speed as it is in France. But it's, it's rather like it's higher than the Norwegian. Yeah. Yeah. Then we call it high speed enough. Yeah. There can also be what we call a red tape tariff. It's not much used now, but it is one way. So you more or less hinder somebody to export. Or we have some import into a country. And we want an advantage. Okay? Uh, 
and that's how we have an input orientation that accepts its exporting place to start putting an input in common. And there are so few places that you can register your export as far to tell it. That is what we can call extension. So you can tell it that the now the law is to tell things to embed it. But the problem is, this is a fake practice of the thing. You have to do that on Monday, 7 30, because the office of the open 7 30 and it closes at 7 31. So if you haven't been there before 7 31, it's already cut. Come back next week. Or you can register it, not in this country or on there. But in a small place at the very top of the first mountain, where you have to climb for three hours to get up, and you have to bring all your six tons of importing goods on your back, and then you're allowed to get it. So that is what is called export. You make it hard to import. So you put into the type of system uh, something that hinders the import. It's not much use, and I don't know if Andorra has such a system, but there are examples of that. It's not the biggest problem, but it is. Uh, if you wonder if it's working in the U.S., the answer is yes. If you want to export oil from Venezuela to the U.S., you run into problems like that, because Venezuela is not funded for the oil to the U.S. So there are obstacles depending on the situation. Okay? So it might be physical or other than to see the same. Okay? But I have one more plastic version to you. And then to be a lot the original. So you're not the one with the Norwegian color. It looks like this. This is the original work. It all made the Norwegian with colors. Is that okay? But that is what we will find in the text. Then at the end, and some the last thing is the other is a fine black. Yes, there it is. What are the effects of trade policy on trade? And see, some of you How is it? Okay. So here are let me count for you. Tariff, export subsidies, import quotas, and other things. What happens to the producer, to the consumer, to the government? And the total overall life of it. Okay. Paris, as we have shown, got an A which increases the surface of the producer. So, gain, pay the producer. What about the consumer? They just get paid for the cost. And they don't even get into the cost. So they lose. So it's just like there is a local bond. Very popular international trade to pay for the concert. Somebody has to pay the money. So you are the lucky that get a ticket. These are all the others who are not allowed in. That is the way public function. It gives benefits to the producer paid by the consumer. They could have gotten this cheap. What about the government? They increase the state revenue because they cut it from each imported country. They need to do it. Currently, not a very good idea for small countries. For larger countries, probably. But since we are in Norway, the conclusion in an international economic Let's say it's simply not benefit at all because it's a big country. Two, what 
happens to us so often. In Jesus, in Jesus, God knows, in Jesus, in Jesus, and that I do. Even though you have a big conscience, and that I do. There's a focus. Okay? Increases for the producers, reduces for the consumers. Lengthen food can get a rent. Guaranteed a bad idea for the small country. So take it home to Germany. Still really work. Some sort of what we call voluntary export respect. Pay in effect. So there is one effect for a big country that can work as a paid policy. And the answer will remain in. That's the only one that can be beneficial for the country that we have. Was that a nice conclusion to the point? To the public? So now we are moving into chapter 10. And I hear no objection. No one saying Russian tomatoes. No one trying to throw stones. Make fires or produce molotov cocktails. Okay. Then you know where we are right now, Johan. At the end of chapter 9. What will we do next time, Johan? So, running through chapter 9 plus 1, which is. Okay? If you have any special input, you are, of course, allowed to come with suggestions. But as we say, uh, when we meet in the police, bu- uh, police bureau, we say, okay, that was a good idea. The vote is 9 against 2, so whatever do you want. But till next time, you have concluded chapter 10. So if you meet somebody of the students that was not here, you can tell it. Now we are expected. Okay? And if you want to send um, if I, um, say hi to those out there, you can do it before we turn off the video. If not, have a nice day. And I think now about this. Yeah. We are like that. Thank <laughs> you.